And if I know what that truth is for me, whatever that might be, okay, this is quality, you know, I can use this for X, the ads and the content that we produce can help influence that decision. So if I can remind someone of a factual thing, uh, like it takes a lot of time to do advertising, it takes a lot of time to do content creation, it takes a lot of time to do X, or you have a hard time investing in real estate or whatever that truth is, like a truth as it pertains to the industry, that is my first entry point of affinity that I can use in my advertising to close more deals and get more leads, but also establish authority in the marketplace. Why, why do people buy off of advertising? How, what moves them to buy? Why do they make choices and decisions and things uh, when they see an ad? Why do I buy? Why do you buy? These are good questions to ask. And I'll tell you, there's a few reasons why I buy. I buy because of brand association. I buy because what I see is quality, I buy because I like nice things and I like things that I purchase to solve problems. But there's also a truth that I have that I know about specific products and services. And if I know what that truth is for me, whatever that might be, okay, this is quality, you know, I can use this for X, the ads and the content that we produce can help influence that decision. So if I can remind someone of a factual thing, uh, like it takes a lot of time to do advertising, it takes a lot of time to do content creation, it takes a lot of time to do X, or you have a hard time investing in real estate or whatever that truth is, like a truth as it pertains to the industry, that is my first entry point of affinity that I can use in my advertising to close more deals and get more leads, but also establish authority in the marketplace. So if I can remind an audience of, hey, you and I both agree that this is real, you and I both agree that this problem exists, now I'm gonna show you something new that you can use, but I'm not gonna use the language that everybody else is using when I tell them this. I'm not gonna use the strategy or the positioning that other companies use in order to get them to buy. Because the moment I fall into that, I'm like everybody else. So I need to separate and find a unique communication that reframes something into a position that makes it acceptable as new, as a new target, as a new way to approach something. Today, people are trying to push the AI thing. They're trying to go down that line. I think that's great, it's interesting, not really a fan of it personally, but they're doing a good job of trying to reframe things. However, we also recognize that there are certain things that cannot be replaced yet, and we have to accept that there's still work that has to be involved. Like I keep seeing these ads for video AI, and I look at it and it just, something about it just does not look correct, and it's synthetic, and I look at it and I'm like, I could see that solving certain problems in certain ways, but it's not gonna solve the personal connection that I need in order to purchase a product or service. Yes, if you watch another video, I talked about promotion, short-term sales and all that. I could probably get short-term sales out of that, but long-term, I don't think it's something that I could sustain. So when I am establishing a truth between us, with whatever company that I work with, it's my responsibility as the advertiser and the marketer and my team to say this in a way that gets you to agree that it's true, but also to turn around and say, wow, I think I need to change the way that I do this because it's new and it's a new approach. Like our content accelerator, I still get people every day who tell me this is a fantastic product and 
it's, I've never seen anybody put it together quite like that. Or even more so that I would get on, I spoke to a guy the other day, he was like, so you're telling me you'd get on the plane, fly to Denver, to my little town outside of Denver to do this. I said, I absolutely will. And that is a unique new way to talk about content creation. Happened by accident when I discovered it two years ago, but it's still effective. So establish truth, but also find a way to take the thing that's relative and position it in a way where somebody would be like, that's a really cool idea. And they'll remember that and they'll wanna buy. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Talk to you next time. Hey guys, thanks for dropping by and subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We're trying to grow this thing and help as many people as we possibly can. Look, we've got programs for everyone, okay? We've got our 90-day content accelerator program where we fly out to you and shoot 90 days worth of content in four to six hours. We edit all that content, and then we do the social media posting on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, manage your advertising campaigns, your email campaigns, build you a fully functional website with a full funnel, everything you need in a box. We have our Content Accelerator Catalyst program, which is a beefed up version of the Content Accelerator, which is one year worth of content, a custom CRM. You know, we're talking 1,200 photos, 240 videos, 240 reels, 1,200 photos, 800 graphics, 90, like every social media platform managed, custom CRM website development. We do individual monthly packages. We've got training programs on sales for advertising. We've got creativity training programs. We have marketing training programs, social media training programs, and we do web design. So if you're looking for something on the digital front, me and my team here at Cislo Ventures can help you. I appreciate you subscribing today. Please come on back. If there's anything I can do to help you, please feel free to reach out. Check us out at cislowventures.com. Look forward to seeing you in our next piece of content. Thank you. Oh,